Style. We all want it. Some of us work hard to get it. Some of us are born with it. And some of us will never have it. Well, I definitely don't have it quite yet, but I did go surfing this session with the intention of working on it. Doing this led to a big aha moment with my cross-stepping, which I'm quite excited to show you. And I also had to go out the day after this session to work on what I figured out, and it was quite successful. So that video is gonna be next week's vlog. So this is kind of a two-parter. I made it to the beach and uh, they're, you know, they're bigger than I would want, <laughs> but uh, this is gonna be some fun surf, let me tell you. Uh, I just gotta find a spot that is not so hollow. They're a little bit hollow, which the shortboarders love, but I want a flat, easy-going longboarding wave. Might be hard to find today. So typically on days like this where the waves are pretty big, my style goes right out the window. Not that I have much style to begin with, <laughs> but uh, my style typically goes right out the window. And what I wanted to work on today was controlling my arms because I noticed that when I'm practicing on the pipe, if I use my arms, I'm actually less stable than when I don't use my arms. So this is gonna be take two of not using my arms. So I'm gonna try to try to be as flowy as I can on the wave and just not be so choppy. And it's gonna be a struggle because days like this, you know, sometimes everything goes right out the window because the waves are good and big. So I'm really hoping I can keep my cool and uh, make it happen. My brother. What's up, buddy boy? It's been a while, huh? Oh, it's been a while. How you been? Bring these? Yeah. The water was coming in. I'm showing you the hole again. Yeah. It's, it's no good, but. Maybe I'll do one and one. One and one. On a day where I'm worrying about my style, this is how I started off. I was so close on having some decent turns today, but either I leaned way too hard into the turn or the tail just completely slipped out. As Ben Considine said on his latest video, when you're riding a traditional log, you have to nurse your turns if you're riding bigger waves. This is also where a high performance longboard with side bites could come in handy. This would have been a really nice smooth takeoff and smooth cross step if it wasn't for my stupid leash. Have I told you how much I hate leashes? Here's where the light started to come on regarding my first cross step. Notice how still the board was even though I started that first cross step behind the braking section? It's a great example of me once again bottom turning and stalling and getting the board traveling up the wave way too fast, which is a common problem of mine. Now this is a result of me just focusing on whipping the board as hard as I could, rather than focusing my eyes down the line, looking at what the wave is doing. Whenever I take off and I just keep my eyes laser focused down the line, it typically fixes this problem. Another common problem of mine is my last step to the nose is typically a big one and that throws everything off balance. This is always a result of my second cross step being way too short and also off the stringer, which also throws everything off balance. 
However, I also found a solution to this problem and that'll be in next week's vlog. And sometimes I like to just throw everything out the window and run to the nose as fast as possible. It's just a great example of how we need to learn the proper technique slowly first, and then we can transition into doing quick board setups and running to the nose properly. Again, the first cross step is one of the biggest parts of the whole cross stepping process and it really wasn't until this session that I started to fully understand it. This first step was so much more stable than it usually is and I even got that second step on the center line. I was on to something big which is why I had to go surfing the next morning to just continue working all this out. Next week, we're getting deep in the weeds with this first and second cross step, but you have to watch this video before next week's video because without this one, you're not really gonna get much from next week's vlog. See you next week.